Okay, hello Bio2. We're going to start today 32-3. Not sure if we're going to get to all of it. This will probably be our last video of this year. And we're going to look at the primates. So this is an important group. Remember, this is one of our 12 orders of placental mammals are the primates. So we're going to talk about why this group is so important, mainly being because this is what us as humans fall under. So what characteristics do all primates share is what we're going to start with. So in general, Primates have what's known as binocular vision. We're going to break each one of these down. They have a well-developed cerebrum. They have relatively long fingers and toes. And they have arms that can rotate around their shoulder joints. So these are the characteristics that most primates have. Or that, sorry, in general, almost all every single primate has in common. So we're going to start with their fingers, toes, and shoulders. So flexible digits, so digit is just another uh, term for fingers and toes. They enable primates to run along tree limbs, and they enable them to swing from branch to branch with ease. So the shoulders being able to move freely along with that helps as well. And so primates' arms are well adapted to climbing because they can rotate in broad circles around their strong shoulder joint. So if you look, you can take your arm right now and rotate it around in a circle very easily, and that is because you are in fact a primate, and now we really have kind of gotten away from living in trees and things like that, but early ancestors of primates and some most of the other primates that are alive today, that is where they kind of have to survive. And in most primates, the thumb and big toe can move against the other digits, and this characteristic will allow primates to hold objects in their hands or feet, and this is known as having an opposable thumb. So this is an important concept that really sets primates apart from rest of the mammals and kind of from every other animal for that matter as the ability to have an opposable thumb to where you actually can grab and hold objects therefore you can use things like tools like that so that of having the ability to have an opposable thumb is a big characteristic of the primates and so moving on to their next major characteristic is the well-developed cerebrum so the large cerebrum of primates enables them to display more complex behaviors than many other mammals so this is kinda gets the rap as being one of the smartest mammal groups that we have out there is the primates because of our more well-developed uh, large cerebrum. And many species have social behaviors that include things like adoption of orphans and even warfare between rival primate troops. So humans are not the only ones that go with adoption and have war. Different primate groups have that as well. So our next is binocular vision. So we've all looked through probably at some point in our life a pair of binoculars which is just kind of a magnifying object so we're going to look at what binocular vision actually means in terms of a primate so many primates will have a flat face so both eyes can face forward with over with overlapping fields of view and this facial structure allows for what's known as again binocular vision and our definition of binocular vision which isn't going to be an important one to know is the ability to merge visual images from both eyes providing depth perception and a three-dimensional view of the world so we had a couple people mention in class they just thought binocular vision is the ability to see really far however when we talk about primates that's not correct it's just the ability to merge the visual images that we see from our two different eyes and then we can provide us with depth depth perception and a three-dimensional view of the world. So that's a really important characteristic that we have in primates. And so now we're going to look at what are our major evolutionary groups of primates. So what are the groups that are still alive today? So our two main groups of primates are called prosimians. This is one group. And then anthropoids. So the anthropoids are going to be the larger group. Prosimians we're going to look at are kind of a smaller group. So most prosimians that are alive today are small nocturnal primates that have very large eyes and they're adapted to seeing in the dark. So our living prosimians include what are called bush babies, lemurs, lorises, and tarsiers. So these where I think we have a couple pictures on, they're not on here, but they are on your notes of what a couple of these look like. And so here's just kind of the evolutionary, kind of how they came to be. So we have our primate ancestors, kind of gave rise to the lorises and the bush babies, the lemurs, which are made famous by the movie Madagascar, and tarsiers are all members of this group. So this is a prosimians, very small group. So then our next group is the anthropoids, and this includes a lar much larger group of primates. So humans, apes, and most monkeys belong to a group that's called the anthropoids, and this just means human-like primates. So we name them after ourselves because some of them really are very similar to humans. And so this group split early in its evolutionary history into two major branches. So 
we have two overall major branches of primates called prosimians and anthropoids, and then within anthropoids we have even two more branches. And these branches separated as the drifting continents moved apart. So just how kind of the mammals diversified, this is no different within the anthropoids. So here are the different type of anthropoids. We have new world monkeys, old world monkeys, and then we have our gibbons, orangutans, gorillas, and chimpanzees. These are what are known as our great apes, and then we have humans. And one big thing we're going to take away from this video is the difference between a monkey and an ape. So every time you go to the zoo or hear people talking from now on, you can kind of uh, you can correct them. So our first major branch of the anthropoids are what are known as New World monkeys. So New World monkeys, what they do is they live almost entirely in trees. They have very long, flexible arms to swing from branches. And one very important thing that they have is they have a prehensile tail. Prehensile tail is a very important thing. And this is a tail that can coil around a branch to serve as a fifth hand. So these are our new world monkeys. So when we think of like the little capuchin monkeys that you always see in the movies, the little ones with the white face, those are our new world monkeys. Those are the ones that have the long tail that can coil around the branch. And so now we're going to look at our second group, which includes old world monkeys and our great apes. So old world monkeys, they live in trees, but they lack prehensile tails. So that's kind of a really important one that we have here is that they live in trees, but they lack the tail. And so the great apes, our other group, are also called hominoids, and these include gibbons, orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees, and also humans, because humans actually share a lot of the same DNA as chimpanzees and gorillas. And so now anytime you go to the zoo and you walk through the area that has the orangutans, the gorillas, and the chimps, you cannot call them monkeys because they are not monkeys. A monkey has a prehensile tail, to whereas these do not. So from now on, you're never allowed to call an orangutan, a gorilla, or a chimp uh, a monkey because notice it's Planet of the Apes, and this is all the ones that are included in this and that movie. And so if you don't learn anything else, that's an important thing you need to take away from this class. And so our final thing about our primates is that most members of our group are of our hominoids, which include, again, the gibbons, orangutans, gorillas, chimps, and humans. They can walk on two legs, and this is known as bipedal locomotion. So two leg and then locomotion is just our word for movement. So I believe this will be our last video of the year. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.